Safwan Chowdhury joining me now from the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community Association. Uh, your initial reaction internally uh, when you heard the news that Toronto Police said this, this didn't happen, what did the association say? You know, this is a really important story that has come out, and, and thank you for having me to discuss it. You know, this particular incident has been both a relief and saddening for us. Um, you know, a, a relief because such a hateful uh, act did not happen in our city, but also saddening that such a serious um, allegation or such a serious um, uh, assertion can be made, mm -hmm. uh, if, if, whether it's by a young child or an adult, because what it may do is undermine future genuine victims. Um, but we also want to thank our Toronto police that have done a diligent job of quickly uh, getting to the bottom of this story. Uh, we want to make sure as the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, as a Muslim community that is established as wide as this country is from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, mm -hmm. that from Newfoundland to British Columbia, we can bring light to genuine victims. Um, and, and especially during a time when there is a rise of anti-Muslim sentiment. I've got to tell you this. So as soon as the story got posted to social media, we found out what Toronto Police had said. Immediately um, flooded with a, a, a mixed emotion from a lot of people online. And, and to be frank, a lot of anti-Muslim sentiment. Um, mm -hmm. It was quite disturbing. How do you, do you counter this? Look, um, anti-Muslim sentiment isn't new. It didn't start yesterday when the story came out or uh, when this uh, initial uh, story broke. Mm -hmm. However, we recognize that our work is cut out for us as, as a Muslim Canadian community. So we do various different initiatives to help bridge those barriers, both, both interfaith and also intercommunity. So we do various different mosque open house events. We have done a campaign where you get a chance to meet a Muslim family, an opportunity for non-Muslims to fast during Ramadan, learn about the faith, learn about Muslims, mm -hmm. and also partnering with other religious communities, whether it's Jewish communities, Christian communities, Hindu communities, because the reality is that um, it's not just anti-Muslim sentiment that's on the rise. There's a genuine um, anti-religious sentiment. We've yes. seen rise in anti-Semitic attacks as well. There is, uh, Safwan Chowdhury, so much to, to talk to you about, but I thank you for that. And, and as you mentioned, this is about education. It is about understanding. Thank you so much Correct. for being thank here you. today. We're going downstairs to you, Dina.